Russia's armed forces have received a donation from the United States. The 16 Kiowa Warrior military helicopters were presented today at the Zemunik base near Zadar. The event was attended by President and Commander-in-Chief Kolinda Grabar-Kitarovic and Defense Minister Josip Buljevic. The president said Croatia had to keep pace in modernizing its military, including its air force. The conservative party of MEP Ruža Tomasic allied itself today with the regional HDSSB party of Dragan Vulin. The new coalition was presented today at a dairy farm in Bizovac in Osijek Baranja County. The People's Coalition continues the rollout of its programs. Social and youth policy were on the agenda today in Ozal, where Milenka Opacic talked with locals at a former rehabilitation center. The former SDP social welfare minister said the social safety net system had slid backwards in the six months that the HDZ Most government was in office. Zagreb Mayor Milan Bandic presented his coalition yesterday and today he unveiled their program in Knin. Bandic, who has served five terms as the capital's mayor, pledged that he would work tirelessly for the benefit of every corner of the country, as he does for Zagreb. After stunning Spain in their opening game of the Olympic basketball tournament in Rio, Croatia lost its second game to Argentina last night. Croatia rallied in the fourth quarter to narrow Argentina's 20-point lead. However, they couldn't get any closer than four and just missed out on the win. Their next game is against host Brazil on Thursday. Meanwhile, in handball, Croatia was up against Argentina once again and this time in a dramatic finish beat their opponents 27 to 26. Croatia will play Denmark next on Thursday. Today's forecast calls for increasing cloud cover with more frequent rain and thunder showers. There is a chance of thunderstorms with hail in places as well. The south and interior Dalmatia are the only parts of the country that will see mostly sunny and dry weather at least until this evening. Northeasterly winds will pick up on the coast starting in the north and overnight in the south, which may still see some light to moderate southeasterly and southwesterly winds this afternoon. The western parts of the country have already hit their highs for the day and temperatures will continue to dip over the course of the day. Temperatures will still be quite warm in the east and south, hitting above 30 degrees in places. Wednesday will bring cooler weather throughout the interior. Temperatures could dip significantly in places. From Friday on, it will be sunnier and warmer, but the mornings will be brisk. Most of the rain is expected tonight and Thursday morning, especially in the east, the mountains and interior Dalmatia. And on the central and southern sections of the coast where there is a chance of heavier downpours and lightning storms. High northeasterly winds will spread up and down the coast by late Thursday and begin to fall late Friday. The storms and high winds could affect traffic, so travelers should use caution and plan ahead by checking road conditions with the Croatian Auto Club.